Detective Miller just wanted a second opinion before he went to a judge. <sighs> okay. Detective Stevenson? Oh, okay, send him through, thanks. Everything all right? Yeah, my brother's coming through with a case he wants me to have a look at. Anything interesting? Not really, he just needs a fresh pair of eyes. Oh. Well, if there's nothing else, I'd better get this back to Miller. You're late. Oh, you too, little sis. Can we just get on with this? Why are you wasting up of my time being late? Delightful as ever, I see. Well, you said you only had 24 hours to get this done, and I don't plan on being stuck with you that long. Well, I was so looking forward to the bonding time. In this file is everything we know about Craig Matthews, the one who killed my partner, Detective Parker. There's only two pages in this. Where's the rest? That's it. That's all we have in this Craig Matthews character. He's been off every system, every radar, until the night he was caught on CCTV when he killed Parker. So, basically, you're at a dead end? Well... That's why... I brought these. All the files that Parker worked on his own for the past three months. But what have these got to do with it? You said there were no priors. Well, there must be a connection between Parker and Matthews. And since we don't think the attack was random, we think it's in these. Are you sure it's going to be in there? It's got to be. Well, let's get started then. Sloane's brother is here. I think he brought Detective Parker's case to her. I don't know, she wouldn't tell me. All she said was that her brother was looking for a fresh pair of eyes, but I'm always clued in on the cases she works, so I don't know if he's found out about what happened and has told Sloane. Okay. I'll see you soon. Robberies, ten domestics, nine murders, all solved, closed, and archived. Damn, he was good. It's ridiculous. Must have missed something. Look, Dean, I don't know what to tell you, but there's nothing in these. We have to consider the attack was random. Maybe you're right. Sloan. What? Did you find something? Only well, your background checks need to be more thorough. What? Well, I didn't see that coming. Looks like our Kerry's had an interesting past. Detective Miller wants your opinion again on... What's going on? Take a seat. What's going on, Sloan? <laughs> I thought I'd be asking that. Funny. I don't remember hearing about a wedding. Sloan, I also don't remember hearing you being involved in a hit and run. Sloan, it you wasn't knew what would happen when Detective Parker filed an official report. And you knew Craig would do anything to protect you, so you just turned away and let him deal with it and pretended like nothing ever happened. 
Where is he, Kerry? I don't know. Kerry, make this easier for yourself and tell us where he is. <sighs> Fine. Dean, round up some officers and check out Kerry's house. I put out Kerry Matthew's name and face in case we get any hits. Uh, what about me? Are you just going to leave me here? That's the idea. In case you get any ideas, I'll be an officer at the door. You sure this will work? I don't know, but we've got to try something. Better just hope he loves her more than his freedom. Kerry. Craig, you can't be here. They know everything, you need to go. Not without you. Just go, they'll be back any second. Not without you. Damn it, where does she keep her keys? There must be somewhere on her desk. You won't find them in there. Dean, why don't you take it from here? Pleasure. Craig Matthews, you are under arrest for the murder of Detective Graham Parker. You don't have to say anything, anything you do say will be taken down in evidence and used against you in a court of law. Oh. How did you know he would come? I didn't. But Dean said if it was his wife, he would come, no matter what would happen to him. So what happens now? You go to jail, and I look for a new partner. I didn't know how to fix it. I killed someone, and I didn't know what to do. Just save it for court. I don't care anymore. 